So I'm just gonna make a quick video on a weird situation I found myself in the other night sleeping in my truck in the parking lot. And yeah, sleeping in random parking lots and stuff isn't ideal. I always try to avoid it. So this is my truck. It's a 2003 Tacoma. Got it set up with a camper shell and a little room in the bed. Um, back living at my house now mostly, but was out this past weekend and was headed home. Uh, it was getting pretty late, so I decided to pull off the freeway and sleep in a, what looked like a pretty quiet parking lot. Um, I'll just go ahead and show it here. Uh, by the way, guys, this encounter isn't action filled or juicy or anything like that. I don't get out and square up with a guy. Um, so if you're looking for that kind of content, you're not going to find it here. So it was probably around like 1.30 in the morning when I heard someone walking around my truck. Um, and whenever you're sleeping, you know, somewhere public and you hear somebody walking right outside your truck, uh, it's always a little bit alarming. Um, so what you'll see here in a second, he pulls out his phone and starts taking pictures. It looks like a, my license plate or something like that. I'm not sure why he was doing this. Uh, so I thought maybe, you know, I wasn't allowed to park there and he was taking pictures of my license plate. But it's kind of odd to be doing that at 1.30 in the morning. Um, and he didn't, look like, he didn't look like a security guard or anything like that. Also, some of you may be wondering why he's not able to see me in the back. And where I was parked, the street light shined into the cab, but the camper shell has really tinted windows, so it was pitch black in the back where I was. So after he'd done a few laps around my truck, and I could tell it looks like he's up to no good, um, he comes back around and tries to shine his flashlight into the back of my camper shell, you'll see in any second. Um, and I just bang on the, on the window, and he, he takes off running. Um, so he probably wasn't expecting that. But yeah, that was basically it. Um, he took off and I hopped out of my truck, um, got, got in the driver's seat and took off somewhere else to sleep for like five more hours or whatever. Um, so this is an example of why I never really liked to, to sleep in like parking lots and stuff like that. Uh, during the summers, I live out of my truck a lot, um, but it's always at either work or campsite. Oh guys, real quick, look at my door right here. And you'll notice it's, it's a little bit cracked open. And so I think what happened is I forgot to, I mean, I, I didn't forget, but I just didn't close it all the way um, when, when I went to bed. And so it was locked, but it was still not totally closed all the way. So this is kind of how my door was. Um, you can see it's closed, there's a little gap. I mean, it's locked, you're not gonna get in there, um, but it's definitely noticeable from the side and everything. So a few takeaways I've got from this video. Um, first things, I have I do have a curtain that covers from the cab to the back where I am, but for some reason it fell off during the night. Um, on that night, I think the Velcro is wearing out or something. Um, but it just adds a little bit of privacy. So another really nice thing to have if you are going to do some car camping, and I've talked about this in my previous videos, is a li uh, limo tinted windows on your camper shell. Not only will this not let people see into the back while you're sleeping, but it'll hide any belongings that you may have in the back. All right, so that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to share my experience. I know some of you might think sleeping in your car or truck or whatever, car camping may, might sound a little bit odd, um, but it's really a growing uh, community right now. Um, it's kind of living off the grid thing, and that's not exactly what I do. I do it because I work as a guy during the summers, um, so that's primarily why I have this set up, but it's still really cool. I can get, go out and travel, um, and I pretty much always have somewhere to sleep. Um, Although, you know, like I said earlier, I wouldn't suggest sleeping in random parking lots. I always try to stay at campsites, friends' places, work, um, places where I know that I'm allowed to be and that I know that I'll be safe at. Um, but that's about it for this video. Um, check in my next video. I'm going to do some mods to my camper shell. So I'm going to do a little bit of renovating. I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I know I talked about in my last video that how I really like the setup I have so far. Um, but I'm going to change it around a little bit. I think I can get it a little bit better.